Hi guys, Pablo back with another video. Today we are quite far away from Asturias, our usual location. We are in the natural park of Ordesa, where we are about to start a trail that will take us from this point, Praderas de Ordesa, to Monte Perdido. I will explain a little bit later about this trail, but let's start it as soon as possible. Well guys, so the trail today will take us from Pradera de Ordesa to the legendary Monte Perdido, which is located in the Pyrenees and with an altitude of 3,355 meters. The trail is very beautiful to hike, although I have to say quite hard. It covers a distance of 17.5 kilometers one way and has an elevation gain of around 2,000 meters. It is so hard to hike that the trail is normally divided in two. In the first day you walk the distance between the Pradera de Ordesa and the Gorid Mountain Refuge and in the second day you summit Monte Perdido. In my case I had uh, very short days of holidays and they were finishing so my only uh, chance of hiking this trail is by doing it in one day. Fortunately I was able to manage to complete the trail in that day. Well, I always forget to mention this, but I think it's quite important and it could be useful. And is that you can actually find the tracks of all my trails and hikes by going to my webpage, mrpablosau.com. The webpage, I have to say, is in Spanish, but it is very easy to navigate, even if you don't understand the language. If you are interested in any particular uh, trail uh, corresponding to any particular video of this series, you just have to use the search box. And uh, once you get to the webpage, there is always a link to uh, download the hike, obviously for free. And also you will have um, Google Maps link to find out where exactly you can park your car. I thought that that could be useful.
Well, the trail we are hiking today can be considered as an extension of a very, very well-known trail. It's the one that starts in Pradera de Ordesa and takes us to the uh, Horse's Tail Waterfall or Cascada de Cola de Coayo in Spanish. This uh, trail is a shorter version, obviously, of the one we are hiking today. It covers a distance of 8.5 kilometers one way and it can be hiked with children, of course, as long as the children are used to walk such distances and it uh, in itself is quite a beautiful hike actually especially because it allows you to uh, have a look at uh, several different waterfalls I think it was uh, five or six waterfalls in total the most beautiful of all I would think and I hope you will agree with me watching the video is the horse's tail waterfall Well, at this point, that is when we uh, pass the last waterfall. Uh, remember that we may have walked around 8.5 kilometers, give or take, at this point. We have two options to continue the trail. The first one would be a, to use a Via Ferrata, where we have to um, grab a certain change bolted to the rocky walls to progress in this section. Uh, obviously, it is not the ideal option if you suffer from vertigo, but also if you are carrying a very heavy backpack, or even if you have dogs with you, it may be better to choose the alternative which is a little bit longer uh, it goes through switchbacks and it surrounds a little bit but uh, as I said it's probably a safer option in any case if you follow the track I use when I hike this trail the way towards Monte Perdido I use the Via Ferrata and the way back I use that uh, alternative trail so you can have both options in your in your track.
Well, when we reach this point, is the Gorich Refuge. Uh, there are around three hours left to reach or to summit Monte Perdido. Of course, these three hours are like uh, a guesstimation, right? I mean, everybody has different uh, levels of fitness. They may be carrying more weight or less weight. They move faster or slower. But, you know, three hours is kind of a, a good estimation of how long is left to reach Monte Perdido. Of course, once you reach uh, the summit of Monte Perdido, you have to consider the time will take you to get back to either the Goris Refuge or Pradera Dordesa, which is the starting point of the trail in my case. Okay guys, as you can see, we just passed Lago Helado or uh, Frozen Lake, which means that there are around one hour left to summit Monte Perdido. But I have to say this hour is going to be a little bit hard. Very, very steep, very, very, very uh, challenging. In any case, let's continue. We are very close now. Okay guys, as you can see we arrived to the summit of Monte Perdido and now we are going to have a rest, enjoy the views and then start the journey back. It's going to be a long journey by the way, but it really worth it. Okay guys, at this point I normally talk a little bit about the trail, my opinions, give some advice about it, just in case you are planning to hike it, and then I say goodbye. 
But I realize I forgot to mention something extremely important, extremely important. And is the, uh, referring to the section of the trail called Escupidera. Escupidera can be loosely translated into English as the spitter. And it's called a spitter because when that section of a trail is full of snow and ice, it is relatively easy to slide down. And if you slide down, you can actually lose your life, as it has been sadly the case for several people already. It's a very sex uh, dangerous section of the trail on and of the Pyrenees. So it is in your best interest to uh, make sure that that section is uh, not uh, full of snow or ice and you can do so by uh, contacting the Goris Refuge and ask them about the state of Escupidera. If it is uh, full of snow or ice, I will strongly recommend you don't hike the trail to Monte Perdido uh, except obviously if you are a very experienced alpinist and you know what you are doing uh, then I will say nothing, but if you are uh, not an experienced alpinist, I will strongly suggest you don't actually get to Monte Perdido because it may cost your life. And as for the hiking itself, I'd say it's a very beautiful hike. There is no um, question about that. It's actually a hike that will probably recommend hiking in two days, just because it makes the uh, hike uh, much easier and it will allow you to enjoy the views much better when you arrive to Monte Perdido, of course, if the, um, the weather helps. And in any case, if you don't feel like hiking up to Monte Perdido, you can always stop in the Horsetail waterfall and it will be a very beautiful uh, hiking itself, actually. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the video and if that is the case, please do not forget to subscribe, like and share and see you in the next one.